hello everyone. For today's Murphy Law Monday, I want to talk about the importance of planning. Planning for Christmas. Now, a lot of times I'm getting calls from parents on Christmas morning, Christmas afternoon, Christmas evening, Christmas Eve. What do we do? I don't know what time I'm supposed to pick up. It's nine o'clock. Kids woke up at six. I don't know what to do. My advice, number one, plan. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So what you need to do now while it's early in the month, mid-month, is go ahead and set out a plan. Who's going to have Christmas morning? Who's going to have Christmas evening? Who's going to have Christmas Eve? Who's going to do milk and cookies in front of the fireplace? All of those little logistics that you think are minute but are important to a child and more importantly, your sanity. On Christmas Day, it's so much going on. The day goes by very fast. So my advice to you is to iron out the logistics. Who's picking up? Who's dropping off? What time? Where? Are you guys meeting at grandma's house? Are you meeting at grandpa's house? Are you meeting at Aunt Sally's house? Because that's where you do Christmas breakfast. A lot of logistics go into this. And you need to consider your family traditions. What type of traditions do you have that are important to you? I have clients who tell me that Christmas is not important to them. Christmas Eve is because that's when their entire family gathers and that's when they have dinner that night and they open a few gifts and do different things like that. So if that's you and your family, then you know for sure that you need to be planning around Christmas Eve. But in most cases, people are planning for Christmas Day. And again, what does that mean? The morning, who's getting the afternoon, who's getting Christmas brunch, who's getting all of those things. I think you need to set out and write out a plan, email it to your other people parents so that they are aware and you guys are on the same accord. I would like you to have it in writing. Why do you need it in writing? Because in the event that someone screws it up or messes up or doesn't show up, you will have the proof that you need to push your position in court. You will say, I missed Christmas Day or he was late on Christmas Day. We agreed to 1030. He didn't call me when he was on 495 running in traffic. Different things like that because the judge doesn't really care, honestly about the logistics they care more so about the fact that the minor child had access and time with both parents that is the most important thing for the court remember the child's best interest I say this on all of my videos and I'm gonna say it again the child's best interest not moms not dads not anyone's and again if you fail to plan you plan to fail so go ahead and get that plan in order write it out send it in the email put it in a text message set reminders do all of those things for these holidays because they are the most important and they are also the most conflicting uh, if you're needing legal services in the state of Maryland or in the District of Columbia please give my office a call 240-493-9116 and www.amurphylegal.com thank you Thank you.